how to use caption pics, an easy example. Here's a blank WordPress page. I'm going to fill the page with text and then place an image on the left with the text wrapping around it. Note that I'm using the HTML editor, but you can use the visual editor if you prefer. Caption Picks works in both WordPress editors. I've now entered my text. I've highlighted it in orange for you to see. There are about three paragraphs of plain text here. I'll save this page now and show you what it looks like when published. Here are the three paragraphs published on my site. Next I'll show you how to position an image using caption pics into this page of text. First, let's look at what you'll need to type to get an image into your page or post. Caption Picks has a settings page which you can get to from the WordPress dashboard. Once you're there, you can see that you can set a default theme, I'll probably choose elegant, and a default image width, and also you can choose to have the image float to the left, which is what I'm going to do. The side margin, top margin and bottom margin can all be set too. Because we've some defaults set up on our settings page, we don't need to specify these things to caption pics again if the defaults fit with what we need. In this case, you can get started by using just two parameters. First, you type in a square bracket followed by the word caption pics. That tells WordPress you want to use the Caption Picks plugin. Next, we have to tell Caption Picks which image we want to display. You need to supply an image URL. This could be on Amazon S3, in Flickr or Picasa, say, or in your WordPress media library. Finally, we add the caption we want to appear beneath the image. You can, of course, leave this parameter out if you don't want a caption. In my case, I've chosen to include a caption saying last winter to go with my winter scene image. That's it. Notice we have the last square bracket at the end. This is what the caption picks command looks like in the post. Notice we've placed it at the top of the post before any text. Also, that we have left a single line gap underneath before our text starts. And this is the result, an image on the left with a caption and with the text wrapping around it.